IT enthusiasts, and welcome back to TPG Tech with another disassembly video. Well, my first comprehensive disassembly video, where I'll be going over the important steps and grievances that uh, may or may not be involved when you when you do it. I'm not the most dexterous person when it comes to small device disassemblies. They're kind of the equivalent to website designing for me, and it, it takes way longer than it has any right to take. It, it, it's basically just the lack of practice thing. And I feel like I've done a fairly solid job this time on this one. And if you agree, why not give me a pat on the back by liking, subscribing, or leaving me a good job comment in the description. But if you think I'm a horrible person, then just proceed as usual. Okay, okay, let me let me tell you a bit about the background details on this particular job. This Xiaomi is actually my old phone, and it tragically um, fell out of the old pocket and down onto the concrete, and completely shattered. Fortunately for us, and me, the phone is perfectly fine otherwise, so I thought that this would be a fantastic learning experience for everyone to see, because it's fairly straightforward, and to fix this fantastic phone. As much as I utterly adore the Yami Mi 9T, because it's just an absolutely amazing phone and I recommend it for everyone who is poor like I am to pick it up because it's just, the specs are just awesome on it. I don't think it's appropriate to go into a full lengthy explanation of the specifications and stuff because we're, we're taking part of a, a disassembly right now. We're taking it apart. <clears throat> Okie doke. First and foremost, the tools you'll need to get this bad boy open, you'll need a heat gun. Any heat gun will do, such as the one I'm using right now. It's not the best, it's pretty cheap. Also, I'll be leaving the links to everything that I use in the description, by the way. Next, you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver, and something small enough to fit into an extremely small gap between the frame and whatever you need to remove. I'll be using tools for my handy dandy iFixit toolkit. Now, if you work with me, which I doubt you have, there's this subliminal disdain that I have for adhesive being used in electronic devices. It's somewhat annoying, it's really annoying actually, to have a usually expensive device that is completely repairable, that may be unsubstantially damaged at first, only to find out that in order to repair it, you have to cause substantial damage to it. It's a great business move, yeah, just ask Apple. But I just can't agree with it. It's not its not very ethical. And this phone, along with 90% of other decent phones, all have this work. It's primarily held together by adhesive. The two main culprits that are, you know, the subjects of concern this time, being the LCD and the back cover. Since both are broken, I unfortunately don't have to worry about breaking it like that. First off, we'll be taking off the back glass. A word of warning before doing this, it, if it isn't already broken, it's super fragile. So make sure you loosen up the heat adhesive properly before prying it off. With my heat gun, it roughly takes around 10 seconds or so to loosen it up enough to where you can pick it out. Next, you want to carefully detach all the glue around the frame and slowly remove the back glass.
Next, we need to go about removing all 11 screws from the top plastic frame and all 8 screws from the bottom speakers. And if you're wondering, yes, the orange stickers cover up the screws, so don't get ahead of yourself and try to pry it out and tragically damage the phone, that would be sad. After removing both portions of plastic, you will need to remove the motherboard connector from the phone as it will be getting in the way. This is the LCD connector, and it's attached directly to the LCD. Before we can get the LCD out, we're going to need to remove it. And it's also using adhesive, oh my god. But this adhesive is light, so you only need to really apply a light application of heat before you can pry it off, if any at all.
and we're done back here. Next, the LCD. The LCD is probably the hardest part by far. It was for me, and that's primarily because of how long you needed to apply heat to loosen the adhesive up. It was for me around 12 seconds on low settings with my heat gun before it finally started to budge at all. If this LCD were working, I'm not sure if it would survive the disassembly at all. But I am inexperienced, so kind of take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. And voila, we've got out all of the damaged components and completed the job thus far and awaiting the new replacement parts. After I do manage to order the replacement parts and repair this bad boy, I'm not sure whether I should sell it or just keep it as a spare. If any of you are interested in buying it, just let me know. In the meantime, that's all I've got for you today and I appreciate you sticking it out with me till the end. It, it must mean I'm actually doing a good job. If you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, and comment, and check out my seller's links and new items that may be available for sale below. Other than that, I hope to see you guys around. Have a nice day. Hey, glad to see you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. TPG out!